Hello, you all. I just want to come on a minute and share something with you all that I've um, had ever since August the 21st, 2020. And I had put it on Facebook, but I had closed it out. I had um, made it private because it wasn't time for me to release it. Uh, but there's a lot of things that are going on in the body of Christ, in leadership, in, 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 you know, leadership, those who are in leadership positions are doing a lot of cricket and evil and wicked things and they're participating in in the vulnerable things and the lord is bringing order he's calling order into the body of christ and lord i just pray that you give me strength to release this word release this message that you have given me and all who are able to receive i pray that they receive oh lord and those who know someone who are caught up in this and i pray that they come out in jesus name but uh the time of removal of false prophet is here because there's a lot of people who are in leadership position who have ignored the voice of god and so god is sending people out who are not afraid to warn those who have fallen into this category and it's coming to a place in time where God is going to send his true children out, his true women and men of God out. And they're going to camp in front of these churches. They're going to get out and stand up in front of these churches and warn and compel the people inside those churches to repent and stop teaching these false er uh, errors and Herodias ways in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And why did I say that? Because, um, uh, the Lord gave me this when I was waking up one uh, Sunday morning. And the Lord confirmed it through someone else early that day, you know, that he was going to send people out into these churches and warn the people in the church, warn the leaders in the church, warn the people who sent among these people and, 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 and being fed off things that they are feeding them. And it's not being, uh, it's not the word of God. They're not teaching the, uh, on unadulterated truth of God's word. And God is saying, come out from among them and be you separated and touch not unclean things. Because if we don't come out from among them, that same judgment that fall upon them will also fall upon us who refuse to come out from among them. See, a lot of us sitting around because we, you know, fellowship and we are tight with the leaders. We're tight with the first lady. We're tight with the pastor. We're tight with the pastor. We're tight with the bishop we're tight with sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so and mother so-and-so and and, and and this person and that person but the lord is saying that when i bring order i'm bringing order and i'm bringing correction to my body and all those who refuse to hear the warning of the lord jesus christ will be striped will be scrucken with the sword of god's judgment you will be struck with the sword of uh, god's judgment and so this time of removal of the false prophet is God removing his Holy Spirit. God lifting the Holy Spirit off of these people who claim to be ministers of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but they are ministers of Satan. Yes, there are people who were once in the Lord, once teaching the true and undulterated truth of God's word, but some kind of way they have went astray, some kind of way they have listened to familiar spirits and went and consulted soothsayers, and they have participated in acts that God have not called them participate in. They are seeking after other things and other gods, and God is saying, I am striking the body of Christ. I am striking those who claim to be of the body of Christ because I'm bringing order Mm. I'm bringing order. I'm bringing warning to my church. I'm bringing order. I'm bringing justice to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I'm calling the lukewarm to get in line. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling the lukewarm to get in line. God is saying it's time to get it right. It's time to let go of your flesh. It's time for you to pick up your cross and follow after me. In the name of Jesus. It's so many people that are in denial of where they are right now. 
It's so many people who are wearing a mask. It's, it's bad that you're wearing your physical mask. You see what I'm saying? But it's a mask that is hiding behind that mask that you have on now. And the Lord is saying it's time for you to stop hiding behind that veil. It's time for you to stop hiding behind that veil and come out from up under that skirt. Because the Lord is going to expose every false prophet. Every false prophet. By way of death. By way of removal of the Holy Spirit, by way of exposure, to bring you to shame, to bring you to shame. Hallelujah. I think it what the Lord told Ezekiel to shave his head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Ezekiel, the Lord told Ezekiel to shave, shave his head. And a bald head represents shameness. It represents uh, 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 defilement. And the Lord saying that people are, uh, have defiled their bodies. So he's going to defile, he's going to shame you. He's going to bring shame to you that you may repent. That's the type of love that the Lord has for his people. He'll rather shame you, bring you to an open shame that you may repent before you fall into something that you won't be able to find your way out of. Because death is going to knock on many people's doors and they're not ready yet. People are dying. People are dying. You want to go in the room? I want, I want you to fix my toy. I'll fix it later. People are dying too early. You see what I'm saying? People are dying and leaving here too early. Your work wouldn't even, even finish. Your work ain't even finished yet. But because you refuse to repent, before, because you refuse to come out of your lukewarm place, because you refuse to come out of that sin, you refuse to leave that adulterous affair, you refuse to leave the, leave the bed of fornication, you refuse to touch not the unclean thing, judgment was strike. Rather through sickness, rather through exposure, rather through the lifting up of the Holy Spirit. Departure of the Holy Spirit. See, it's time for us to get it right because God is not playing with us at all because there's a lot of sick and twisted things that are going on in the body of Christ and it's starting at the house of God. Why? Because you got people who are in leadership position who are supposed to be helping lead the body of Christ to Christ Jesus. Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ, but a lot of people are following Baal and they got people following after them, following after Baal. And the Lord is saying he's time trying to get the body, time to get the body of Christ in order. It's time to get in order because we are in these times where we are in the last days. I don't care who don't believe that, but we are in the last day and we are approaching it and approaching it each and every day. Hallelujah. The days are getting darker. The days are getting darker. Darkness is fulfilling their world. And all of you who are not prepared will get caught up in it. It's like a whirlwind of darkness. So you got people in the church who are stealing people money, who are mistreating people, and your people who are poor and homeless and, and drunk and stuff like this coming to your church, and you mistreating them. You want to put them way you let the back, but you want to sit. The ones that you think they have it all, the ones that you pat on the back Sunday after Sunday, you want to treat them like they're better than those, but there's no one better than no one. I don't care the condition or the look of the other person's appearance. It doesn't matter to the Lord. Because the same way you look down on someone else. God is looking down on you because of your disgraceful behavior. Because you're supposed to represent the body of Christ. And you are the cause many are turning away. Because of how you behave, how you treat other people. We're supposed to love people. As Christ loves us. Many of you may treat your wives. You, you go to church and you cut a dance, you scream, you're hollering, you're singing and you're preaching and you're performing at church. But you go home and you cuss your wives out. You beat on your wives and many of you women, you're, you're cussing your husband out. You're beating on your husband. You mistreat your children and you're doing all kind of filthy dirt. And the Lord is saying it's time and the skirt is being removed. Everything that you do in the dark is being exposed, being brought to the light. 
So don't think you're getting away because it, it, everything look okay in your eyesight right now because you want to turn away and say, well, I don't care what she's saying. Who is she or who is he can tell me uh, so-and-so, so-and-so that I need to get it right. We all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. But I'm telling you here today. The time of the removal of the false prophet in here. And it's time that you get your house in order. It's time for you to be the body of Christ that you claim that you owe. Or your skirt going to be removed. People are participating in occultic practices. Participating in witchcraft. You know, uh, playing with horoscopes. Playing with new numerology, analogy, or whatever this stuff is, uh, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Playing with and dibbling, dabbling in, in, in stuff they have no idea what that. Some of you are very aware of what you're doing. And you still want to get up and stand up in the pulpit or get on social media. And you want to preach like you holier than thou. But yet it's still you got skeletons and bones in your closet. Yet it's still you're a witch behind closed door. You're a sorcerer behind closed door. And the Lord is saying he's coming to expose you. Remember, judgment starts at the house of God. And those of you who know to do right and you refuse to do right, you're gonna be me. We gonna you gonna be be with many scribes. I'm gonna read some of what I got on this paper if I can. Read it. It's, it's from it up. The judgment of the Lord is upon the false prophets unless they repent. They will pay for their consequences of their actions, says the Lord. Uh, Scraying God's sheep away, leading them to the slaughter to be slain. God is saying enough is enough. Cry out at the altar that your sins may be forgiven you. Because the time of the remover is here of the false prophet who prophesy and speak lies in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, you prophesy and you speak lies. All for gain. People are not preaching and telling people the truth. You're not prophesying and telling people exactly what the Lord is prophesying and telling you to tell them. Because you want people money. Because you want to continue to go and be a public speaker at people's church. You refuse to speak the word of the Lord. So you sugarcoat the truth for a lie. And the God is saying this to you. Repent. Saying things he did not say. And I'm going to go on uh, dreaming, dreaming, uh, hold on, saying things he did not say, dreaming lies, her hypocrisy, stealing, you're stealing and you're, and you're robbing other people, you know, things that God have given other people and God show other people visions, have given them dreams and stuff and you're copying and pasting and trying to make it your own. And again, you people are robbing, you know, stealing from their neighbor, you know, taking from the poor. You're taking from the poor to put into your own home. You're, you're robbing people and using the name of the Lord in vain. Stealing from the poor. People don't even have to give to you, but you're making them scrape their last dime to give to you. The Lord say, don't give out your necessity. Don't give out what you need for your own household. Don't do that. Don't give, don't do that. And a lot of you know that you're wrong for that. You being convicted about this. You feel bad about it, and yet you still go on and you continue on to take and rob and steal from God's people. And the Lord is fed up with that. Judgment is at the house. Today, the Lord is requiring of you to give back all what you have stolen or their blood will be, will be remaining upon your hands. Speaking, speaking words that have never been delivered to you. Woe to you. Woe to you. 
who have no pity from the things you have spoken and done. And men sleeping with men and sleeping with other men's wives, women with women, etc. in the congregation. The removal is here. Just the same way Ananias and Sapphira fell, dropped dead. That's the way the Holy Spirit is going to, that's the way uh, people are going to fall dead for lying in the Lord's name and saying that the Lord said and the Lord did not say you're lying. You lying to the Holy Ghost. So these false prophets be scattered. Hold on. These false prophets be scattered in the streets the same way. They will be scattered in the streets the same way they scatter God's people abroad. You have left the sheep bleeding, hurt, wounded. Some of you have, have, have hurt people so badly and you're so prideful to, to go and ask for forgiveness. You know that you have wronged people. You know that you have done people wrong in the church. But yet and still, you're so full of pride because your title and all of this stuff here, your reputation, you know what I'm saying, that you're so prideful, you know what I'm saying, that you don't want to confess and say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, and I repent. You see what I'm saying? And so the Lord said, you have wounded. You have wounded the people. You have placed upon what the same thing that you have placed upon. Hold on. I'm going to go back and read. You have left the sheep bleeding hurt from their wounds. You have placed upon them. Some of them have come to you broken. These people have come to you broken with a contract spirit. You have, you didn't care. You didn't care for them. And you place bondages on them. You place bondage on them. Rejected them and scattered them. Now the Lord is about to scatter you. You have hurt God's people and brought them, uh, brought shame upon the Lord's name. It's, it's long overdue. Now it's time to pay. Now it's time for you to pay, lest you repent. Because the Lord is sending a warning. And people will look at it like, you know, and say, you know, and say this and say that. But the Lord sends warning before he sends discretion, before he sends judgment. So you can't say that this is this isn't the Lord because I know that this is the Lord. Go into the Old Testament, how the Lord handled people, how the Lord sent warning after warning, and the Lord would uphold His judgment on a lot of you know on on, on Israel and, and so far on, but they repented, and so the Lord is only calling people to repentance, repentance, repentance. If they if people do not repent and they continue in a lukewarm place, they continue in a filthiness, they continue to reject and rebel again. God judgment will fall. Judgment will fall. So you can say what you want. You can take it how you want to take it. You can ignore this message. But I know what the Lord has given me. And it's only confirmation because the Lord has given someone else that I know the same thing. That he's going to bring exposure. <clears throat> A lot of people are dropping dead. People think they're dropping dead from this and they're dropping dead from that. No, it's the judgment of the Lord that they have fell upon that that. That uh that pastor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know that that whomever that claiming to claiming the name of Jesus Christ. See, people are pretending to be one thing, but they're a whole different way behind closed doors, and the Lord is bringing exposure. So this is out of love that the Lord is sending a warning. You know, I don't want to make this video long. I'm just about through. I'm through. Repent and be not dismayed. The Lord is reward of those who diligently seek after him with their whole hearts. Make it right before he comes and remove you. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? The chestnut of the Lord starts at the house of God. And I got some scripture. I think it's Ezekiel 16. 49, 50, Judge, Judge 1, 7. Um, what, uh, Genesis 19, 1 through 38. And I think I wrote it at the top, Jeremiah 23, 9 through 40. Um, and this is uh, 
excuse me, 1 Samuel 16, 14 talks about when the Holy Spirit, when the Spirit of God departed from Saul. So this is biblical. This is not something that is made up. This is not something that I have come up with. This is biblical. In Acts 5, 1 through 11, the Holy Spirit uh leaves uh, Ananias and Sapphira drops dead after lying to the Holy Spirit. And so I just pray that this word helps somebody realize that they need to get back in position, that they need to get back in position, you need to get back on your post, and you need to confess before those who the Lord have given, uh, have, 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 who the Lord have given you, you, you know, you to minister to, you to, you know, those who are sitting upon your platform, you know, and listen to you, you know what I'm saying? You have to come forward and you have to confess your faults. You have to confess your errors and say, here, I was wrong. I was doing this and I was doing that. And so the Lord had rebuked me. I'm taking my correction like a woman. I'm taking my correction like a man. And I'm confessing it because I don't want the judgment of the Lord to fall upon me. So Lord, I pray that Whoever they were for, Lord God, they receive your word on tonight, Lord. They receive your correction on tonight, Lord God. They receive your warning on tonight, Lord God. For don't take it lightly. In the name of Jesus, do not take it lightly. And Lord, if we have anything on our heart on tonight, Lord God. Lord, we confess our faults. We confess our sins on tonight, Lord. Knowingly or unknowingly, Lord. That you forgive us, O oh Lord, for saying things, O oh God, that you did not say, Lord God. Going and participating in things, O oh Lord, and acts, O oh God, that you have not allowed us or permit us to participate participate in oh god lord i pray that you forgive us for our wrong oh lord and i thank you lord for giving us oh lord lord i thank you that you're graceful and you're merciful lord god and i thank you for the warning i thank you god for the correction i thank you for pointing things out lord god and i thank you god for showing us our faults oh lord god lord and i pray that we don't forget we've seen here what we have heard here lord god but lord i just thank you in the name of jesus and i praise you in the holy name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen Glory be to God.